Our next lecture is on paper pricing. It goes hand in hand with the previous lecture on paper weights. Once we can calculate the total number of sheets needed and how much those sheets weigh, we can use either M sheet pricing, which is pricing per 1,000 sheets of paper, or CWT pricing, which is pricing paper per 100 pounds of paper, to calculate the total price that we'll have to pay for the paper. Our objectives for this lecture are to calculate the number of sheets needed for a job based on job specifications, and we're going to reference our packaging lecture where we figured out the number out of books that fit in the bottom of the box. We'll apply that same concept to calculating the total number of sheets needed for a job. We also will shoot to understand what CW pre uh, CWT pricing is and what CWT stands for, what M sheet pricing is, and then we will use both the CWT and M sheet pricing formulas to calculate the price of paper. In addition, we will reiterate the importance of calculating the number of sheets needed for a job based on the number out formula because we'll use that for every lecture between now and the end of the semester. Then, once we know the number of sheets that are needed, we can use that to calculate the weight of the paper and then the final price of the paper.